up YouTube so in this video today well I want to take you through some of the jobs that I've done in July and also I want to just have a little bit of chat about how this season is going uh, I used to I've always said YouTube for me is a good outlet it's if I have a problem I talk to my phone put it on the internet and I feel better uh, as in the, the situation gets resolved normally or by just to, and I've got I've got a phone full of videos that never may keep the lie today where I'll talk about problems and talking to myself helps me to get the problems you know basically out, out in the open and sometimes I'd say 99% of the times after I've said you know the problem the problem's been halfway to being sorted but another good thing about YouTube and this channel and my channel should I say is that it's a very good way of charting my growth not only my business but uh, also you know my sort of personal growth I think if I did I'd love to have done YouTube when I first started and you know from the very beginning because some of the customers and jobs that I had to do it would have been a completely different sort of thing. Uh, I've always seen growth. I've always seen business growth. But definitely years and one and two. And number three, to be fair, have been built off crap jobs, miserable customers, you know, and just making things do. It's only till now, which is year four, which is strange saying it, that I feel like for once the business is doing business things. It's going the direction it wants. Uh, it's earning the money it wants. Like I said, I've said this plenty of times, money can't buy happiness, but it can buy a more pleasant form of misery if you've got... It's like in one of, one of these little segments today, you'll see that uh, I've got a nail in a tyre, and I don't think I should where a nail was, but basically it's a new tyre job. And a few years ago, it would have been a big stressful thing because you've got to push it for a tyre, it's going to count. But it's weird how things come about where now it's like, you know, okay, it's done. It is what it is. Um, you know, a few years ago, it would have been one of them where, you know, it's not that the money wasn't there, it's just it wasn't in abundance and that money could have been for something else. So, this video, you'll see some of the jobs that I do throughout the season, well, throughout this season. Uh, you'll also see variety. Variety is one of the things I enjoy from my gardening round. So have a good day, guys. So, power washing wise, it's the little jobs that I seem to be getting at the moment. And I'm going to talk a bit later on about my plans for making the power washing that little bit easier for me. It's the setup time that's killing me at the moment. It's just taking far too long than what it needs to do. I'll also, so you'll see some before, well, not so much befores, but the little still roller mower is definitely doing, you know, the job, so to speak. Um, I have noticed a problem. I've been taking it up and down stairs, and I've noticed every time I do that, I think the oil must slosh around a little bit, and it's causing problems. It's causing a little bit of smoke. So I've actually busted the ego mower out, so you'll see that later on. And this job here, I posted a YouTube short. It was just fishing out some alder from conifers. And this is one of them where it's I, my mind was on the camera trying to film. I thought, oh, it'd be a good little, you know, segment to film. The uh, secateurs in action, but you'll see the dog just burst through in a bit. Uh, and I only got the end of it. You'll just, just see. So there you go. So this one, I did a gutter clearance and conservatory. I'll probably do a video coming up of this. And I'm going to call it a conservatory clean. Far from good, but good from afar because the conservatory itself is knackered. And this is, you know, it's the best it will be for what it is. So I will jump back in a little bit, I think, guys. So, show you this job quickly. She wants this reducing a bit. Just everything just needs to tidy up, basically. It's nothing. I do it once a year, and it does last, to be fair. Yeah, conifer. Everything just needs a damn good rounding off. It's just the hedge trimmer. 
as I said, they really frustrate me, these ones do. But it's all fun and joys, isn't it, to run in a business? So let's get on with it then, guys. It's just stalled the hedge trimmer and stopped it from working. And I don't know what it is about these hedge trimmers. I think it's the 86. I don't know what it is. They're utter garbage. When they work, they work and they're really useful and they are a really handy tool. I know people have said that they've got like a little thingy in there, like a little sensor. Played around with that, but they're just utter, utter garbage. And I've got to do the tops of them all the way up. So as you can imagine, it's very frustrating. Just another part of running a business. I have got a spare one of them actually, because they're so unreliable. I've had three sets of them and they've all developed problems under warranty. That one chugs along nicely, but it's not extendable. That is useful, don't get me wrong, but they're just so unreliable. I, I sort it out still, but they're just so unreliable. So we'll crack on as best as we can, guys. And the customers, neighbours, just give us a can of coke, which is really nice, are they? So we'll get cracking then. God, look at that shadow. So it's now working. How long for? Just need it for these tops. So all I need it for. Will we get one job? Will we get the rest of the job done? I've just done that as well. So that looks a lot better. So who knows guys? So to get around this whole loading unloading, I'm thinking of getting a power washer. Uh, I'm gonna do it myself. I'm gonna mount it to a trailer myself. So idea being is that instead of having to empty the van, of all my stuff to then put all the power washing stuff in. It's a case of going to the yard to hook the trailer up and everything I need, power washer, water tank, you know, whirl away, it'll all be in that trailer. And I literally tow it to the first job or the job, get the, you know, unreal the low pressure hose, what plug into the customer's tap and then unreal the high pressure hose. And then I'm off. And then after I've done, simply tow it back, park it up. Nice and simple. That's what I like. Probably going to have to throw a little bit of money at the situation. Looking at it and looking at what you can buy. So this is an example. Um, yes, something like that would be fine. But it's a little bit too open for my liking. I want it all. I'd like it if I can in a box trailer. Probably like a little removals trailer. I've put one, you know, to show you. Probably like five before or whatever. Something. I don't need it huge. As you can see the footprint of it. You can really compress it down. Uh, that's got a hot water wash system on it as well. I won't need that. Just cleaning with cold, you know, just normal water. But uh, as I said, it's it's stuff like this that it just makes my life easier. And to have you know, something like that, to have it all in one trailer, again, is going to make my life so much easier. So I'm looking at doing that this winter. I am probably going to buy the trailer and buy all the stuff, shove it all in a trailer and then get it sorted out over winter. That's going to be the plan anyway. So look out for that video, guys. So there's things that you can guarantee if you're going to be late or something's going to happen, it's going to either happen when you need to get home or you're crowning or you've got to be somewhere or you're miles away and today it's happened I noticed I went to the job and I thought oh this is a bit unusual tire looks a bit funky well I thought oh well I'll crack on you know it's no problem and then I noticed it was really flat ah I thought it's no worries I've got a compressor I will top it up with air started top putting the air in I noticed I could hear a noise a hissing noise from the unit itself i'm out in the sticks so i thought ah so i'll show you what's happened but let me get this top top first so it's got me home as you can see 
managed to get enough air in. And this is the thing, it's sods low will happen. So this, I think this is like a pressure sensor, but it's got some form of circuitry when it's just giving up the ghost. It's all cracked. You can see it there. So as I plugged that in, I could hear this leaking air out and it wouldn't go above a certain pressure. Now, funny enough, I noticed it the other day, actually. I used it for some before. It doesn't seem to be putting much air in, <coughs> but I never thought anything about it. So obviously, sod's law happened. So I've had to jerry-rig, and I'm rather proud of it myself, actually. And it's managed to hold enough air, and I've managed to get it to run. Well, it was running fine, but the motor, screws come out of the motor. So this thing was just flying around. I don't know how it kept on working. Uh, but yeah, managed to get it done. Managed to get home. 10 points for Sam for MacGyver in the situation. But these things happen. Have a good day, guys. Last season, she asked me to paint some of her ornaments. I painted that, but geese don't normally have eyebrows, but I think it makes them look better. So, this is one my favourite lawns that I do. It's a little dinky lawn, it's up a little set of steps and it's all hidden away, well sort of, but it's a nice little lawn to do. Next one we go. So quick little job, threw the mulch down, did this a few years ago actually. Really the liner wants to come off but it's well not today's job. I think it's future Sam's problem, so we'll get this all mulched up. Got a full trailer full, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Get on with it then. It is back. First lawn, and we'll do that one. But it is back for now. <laughs> 